Steve, a 2-1 win in the Bill Base FA Trophy quarter final away to Notts County. Sum up your feelings after that one. Yeah, we were just delighted really. I thought the lads were playing against a, a really good team with some really good attacking players. Um, they made changes, we made changes, um, but it didn't deter from it being a really good, exciting game. Um, and I just thought that uh, it was nice to, to get a result because we were, we were on the end of a a bitterly disappointing defeat here over the, the older period and uh, obviously we lost Harry's at the part of the game which affected the game but it was um, a little bit of revenge but I thought the lads deserved it really at the end I thought they did really well In the first half Notts County took the lead how frustrated was it at that point not just to concede but the manner of the goal we conceded Yeah I think that we pride ourselves and we have done all season on stopping crosses no free headers in, in our box and I think that the goal was whilst I think it was a very good ball in I think that uh, we will have to have a look at it and see how easy it was for him to score. Obviously, he continued his run from bringing it through the middle of the pitch from uh, centre back. But um, yeah, disappointing goal, but bounce back, you know, in, in style really. And, and the one thing about this group at the moment, certainly most of the season really, is that they never know when they beat. Uh, and I think they, they proved that and they showed that tonight. You mentioned that character again, not the first time we have come from behind. But just how important was the timing of that equaliser just before half time? Yeah, massive, really, really important. I think that you could see that it did, did definitely have an effect on the Notts County boys walking off at half time and it gave our lads a, a spring in their step. Um, it was a super finish, a super move. And I think when we, when, we, when we played enough football to get overloads out wide and 2v1s out wide, then we looked dangerous. When we didn't do that, we kind of played in front of them a little bit, but it was a super goal. And I'm you know, really pleased with Jarvis. He's, he's a great lad, he trains hard and he's waited his turn to get back in the team and he scored a great goal. And what was the message then at half-time to the players? There seemed to be a more attacking intent mm. after the break. Yeah, the manager just said that we thought we, we were playing within ourselves a little bit in terms of our attacking side. We thought we could create a little bit more uh, opportunities going forward, bringing our centre-backs into play, getting Max forward a little bit more and getting Aaron forward a little bit more and trying to create the 2v1s out wide. And I thought the start of the second half we were terrific. We... Um, we completely, um, whether they were slightly affected from the goal just before half time, but we, I thought we dominated the game and we had some really good moments and, and probably on another day could have scored a couple more. And then finally, the winning goal by James Jones, his second in as many games. I mean, what's going through your head on the bench as he's striding forward in the last minute there? Yeah, I mean, I just really just reacting from the dibs of save, really, when he's tipped that one on the pie. It's an amazing save. I'm really pleased for him. He's, he's, he's been patient. He trains properly. He's, he's always ready and raring to go if, if Rob's not fit. So really pleased for him. And then within a blink of an eye, we, we, we put a lovely move together and, and up he pops. He's tremendously fit. He can get box to box all day long. And I think that he gets stronger as the game goes on. And it was, uh, it was delightful to see him score the goal. Into the semi-finals. You're a management team that knows what it takes in these knockout competitions to go far. Mm. You know, I guess it's an obvious question now, but one step away from Wembley, and that's all the motivation the players need, surely. Yeah, I, I, that got to mention at half time as well that you know we want to step away from from walking out of Wembley, which is is a great honour. I've been there a couple of times, and uh, fortunate to be there as a player and also be there as a management team. So um, it's a wonderful experience, and it's something that the lads have got to try their very best to do in the next round. Uh, but it's, it's you know I'm just really pleased with the performance. It's sometimes when you make change, it can upset the the rhythm and the the kind of flow of the team but I don't think he did that tonight I thought everybody who's been out of the team who came in did really well Final question it's a different competition but for the second consecutive round we've beaten a league rival in it just what impact does that have on the squad on the character on the mentality in that dressing room? It just builds confidence and I think that not arrogance there's a, there's a big difference I think that the squad are confident at the moment they, they relish in the way that we play um, we're creating opportunities to score goals we've proved that in the games that we've had and we know that whoever we play against, we're going to give them a, a really hard game, and I think we did that tonight. Thanks so much, Steve. Okay.